I've been fighting since birth. Premature, preordained was this curse to see a young black. Welcome back guys, Jack and I'm here with another Fortnite video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to improve your aim on controller in Fortnite. Now I know you can see as from the gameplay I play on keyboard and mouse, but before I was a keyboard and mouse player I was a controller player so I have the experience. Anyways, I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys how to set up Kovacs to work for your controller. Now this will only work for PC players because Kovex is only a program that you can play on PC. I'm going to let you know right now that Kovex costs 10 bucks, but it is definitely worth the investment. So you're going to want to open up Steam. And after you open up Steam, you want to go over to library, click that, and then you want to find Kovex here on the side. Then you want to go over to this cog here, then go to manage controller configuration once this opens up you want to go to browse configs here and then you want to go to templates and once you're on templates you want to scroll down until you see keyboard and mouse it should also say your controller at the bottom right corner so you want to make sure you choose the right controller I'm using a PS5 controller so I choose PS5 here but you just choose whatever controller you're using instead when you come out of that click apply and then you want to go to this box click that and then change your style of input to joystick move after that click additional settings and then stick response curve it's on linear by default so if you play linear keep that on linear and if you play on exponential try wide or extra wide after that, you can change your dead zones by dragging these sliders. It might not be exactly the same as it is in Fortnite, but you just kind of want to eyeball it. From there, you hit back and then back again. And after that, you click on done. Now it's time to open up Kovacs and get into the settings. You want to make sure your sensitivity scale is on Fortnite percent. And for your horizontal sensitivity, um, you want to change that to whatever your in-game sense is and then you can uncheck vertical sense lock to horizontal if you use two different senses and your fov measurements should be on overwatch fov on 103 and you can set your max fps to whatever you like now you are completely able to play kovacs on your controller this is going to be a game changer for the controller gang in fortnite I know keyboard and mouse players always complain about aim assist, but now controller gang can work on their aim and just improve. So I hope you guys benefit from this. I'm actually gonna leave the aimer seven guide in the description. So if you wanna check that out, which I highly recommend if you're just getting started with aim training for the first time, um, just make sure you click the link in the description or a pinned comment but hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day please please like the video and subscribe to me it really helps me out a lot it helps more people see this not only that if you want to make sure you don't miss any future uploads anything that can help you out i'll be sure to upload a lot more if this video does well just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those but goodbye